As the state continues hunting for ways to finance high-speed rail, a local assemblyman says he wants to make sure the money is not coming at the expense of highway repairs. Action News reporter Christina Fan takes a look at a proposed bill set to be heard Monday. You can find battered roads all across California. That's why local assemblyman Jim Patterson says he's working to make sure money meant to repair them stays that way. When those funds are collected, they're supposed to be going to highways. And here's the, here's the, the basic problem. A railroad is not a highway. Since 2015, hundreds of millions of dollars from the state highway fund meant to repair roads have been transferred over to pay for high-speed rail. Republican lawmakers say as time goes on, they're concerned millions more will be drained. And that's why this is a bait and switch. And quite frankly, my bill ends that. Under the new assembly bill, taxes and fees collected in the state highway account will no longer be used to pay bond debt. Patterson's office says principal interest payments from bonds will cost taxpayers more than $19 billion over the next 30 years. He's worried some of that money will be funneled from the recently passed gas tax. Every dollar that you take from the highway fund to pay a debt for the construction of high-speed rail is one dollar less that you're going to have in order to repair roads, deal, deal with the congestion. We reached out to the High Speed Rail Authority for comment, but they have not responded. Patterson says the hearing on his bill is scheduled for Monday afternoon. In Fresno, Christina Fan, ABC 30, Action News.